Hey, lightweights. Here's what you can expect from today's episode of Mass Effect 2. Not a very good crime scene. I was like two steps in before I ran into them. I'd like to know what double-sided tape she uses to keep everything in place. Is she about to feed my fish? All right, guys, so we're going to start off this video by recruiting that final person that was on Ilium. Oh, wait. We got this. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. Damn. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Non Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm Damn. hoping to avoid that. This is definitely not a good place for her. <laughs> Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big <laughs> diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain, and they die before breaking their oaths. Are you sure about that? <laughs> that feels like it'd be really easy for somebody to uh, use it for personal gain. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial... Oops. You can hail a cab at the Oops. pedestal on that balcony over there. Okay, I really want to see what Thane is all about. Um, and he is... Submachine guns, sniper rifles, warp, and throw field. So I think. I feel like he might be a little more squishy, so I might want somebody who's a little bit more tanky. 
I don't freaking know. I won't know until I play with it. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Now that's one good looking crew if I do say so myself. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places, with my guards, and only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You know more than you're saying. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. <laughs> Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Eclipse sisters? Nothing to see here. Move along. Be a Justicar when I was young. Every sorry does, I guess. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. 
You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you for not wanting to do that. <laughs> Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Every time Shepard orders us to face impossible odds, I have to remind myself that I volunteered. That's about twice a day. <laughs> I love how he says that and we literally just recruited him and have not done anything with him yet. <laughs> Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her, and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Ugh. See, she doesn't. Like, I understand her principles, and I understand... But, like... So I don't want to say this, but I want to know... The dialogue. <laughs> Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene? A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. Excuse me. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. <laughs> they live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Area, let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest to Fax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. Oh shit. So that was the girl we overheard by the taxis, right? I didn't realize what I was doing there. <laughs> Hopefully she just gets arrested and I didn't just get her killed. Crime scene. 
I was like two steps in before I ran into them. Those were my best troops. Tell oh. me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Oh, my God. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I'd like to know what double-sided tape she uses to keep everything My in place. Mara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm not saying you killed in cold blood. I'm not an idiot. I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? <laughs> I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. Asari is stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. <laughs> there must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel Asari space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. You call that armor? Honey, that's not protecting very much! Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari's face. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari's face, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. Her face, like her facial structure, reminds me of the Borg Queen, the one that was just like the head and the spine. I haven't watched it in a really long time, so I might be totally off base there, but in my memories of watching that as a child, her facial structure looked like that. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station, and I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> She's 
She's like, this works out perfectly for me. I get to relax for 24 hours and you have to do all the heavy lifting dirty work. <laughs> it's a win-win. I should probably save. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant. Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggle the chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. <laughs> He's like, I can smell a deal in the air. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. <laughs> of course you did. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Okay. I go back through here. I go in here. All right, Thane, welcome to your initiation. <laughs> well, I guess we were kind of already initiated him because we already had a fight that I forgot about. a really painful death. Salt shotgun acquired. Shepard, Grant, Jack, Jacob, and Polly. Nice. I know I just switched off the new one, but 
I like the Eviscerator shotgun when I'm in range. Oh shoot, that's where I'm supposed to go? Okay, hold on. Um... I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! We are just racking up the renegade points today. <laughs> Oops. This should come in handy. I mean, she was gonna shoot me anyways, right? Right? I hope. I was hoping she'd go flying out the ledge. Okay, so I need white, orange, white, green. Orange, white, but it's little orange, big white. And then little blue, white, orange. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I'll man. Put them down. Sorry, Grin. Definitely just stole your cover. <laughs> getting lots of money because I was broke after buying all those fish and things. Check your screens. Alright, I'm gonna 
Okay, that was really close. Spread your matter to the sea. Are we gonna have to fight that thing? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Where'd it go? Oh, maybe not. I just took off. Yeah, right on your ass. Grunt. I see you in your little chargey charge. Whoa. I Did the right thing. Exploding rounds blew the little bastard suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Oh, so she killed the the trade partner. Elnora was the killer. You were right to be suspicious of her. Figure that detective would want this. Probably. I mean, we just solved our murder for. Her. <laughs> I freaking love that. That's my favorite move, I think. This looks like it's going to be a big fight. It's too open. With fragile crates. Yeah. Gunship above. Yep. Watch out, Thane. Oh, my God. horrible <laughs> it was ugly <laughs> but we got the job done when in doubt just run and leave your team to the wolves <laughs> I'm impressed no one died there 
Walls, stacky toy, needle. Stacky toy. C, C, needle. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minogen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. We gotta keep moving. What did I just get from this? I don't know. Who are you? I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You're high. You need help. You need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. <laughs> I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. <laughs> We're right behind you. <laughs> Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step. But great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm tired. What do you mean? You <laughs> may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Old nap. Destroy the universe later. Oh my god. Useless. <laughs> Which way was I even going? Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Have a cure. Impact shot! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Worst time for a cop attack ever. Oh, 
I was like, wait, is that it? That seemed really easy. <laughs> okay, there's music right now. Hello. Some record of that shit must be around here. I mean, he might have been able to take her, not gonna lie. <laughs> I thought she was gonna be way more tough than that. I don't know, famous last words, I should probably save. It probably wasn't the end of it. There's a Jessica here, probably looking for one, for the one we sent off on the AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope this Jessica doesn't mess up my operation. Is that the ship the crazy Asari wanted to find? Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? We got time. Let's look around some more. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any loot. Like this! White, orange, blue. All in a nice, neat little row. Little blue, white, orange. Over to the right. White, orange. Okay, hold on. So... Alright, I'm gonna give that to the detective. But I must have to do that after. I got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. <laughs> The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. What? By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Okay, so maybe they can't do it for personal gain if they've maybe got like. I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. <laughs> I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. <laughs> I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Um, I know that I have the other side activity here 
to do, but I'll come back and do that after. All right, so we leveled up. We recruited Samara for the team. We got a new shotgun. 30% biotic damage increase, credits, and platinum. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition. I'm sure you have, Jacob. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Cool. Okay. So, now let's talk to... There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. Oh, <coughs> Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Is she about to feed my fish? Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I can feed the fish while you're away. Yes! I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Oh, if I had just kept them al alive, like, two missions longer. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Already? That'll be all. Good luck out, Commander. You've received a new message at your private terminal. It could happen to you. From Elkos Mail Routing, a drell lay in the ocean, dying from Keppel Syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The Drell saw the wakes and eddies and saw that sometimes the Enkindler swam alongside him, limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The Drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The Enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly. You were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found this Keppel syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow, and where the light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall come true. That's like the story of Jesus and the Footprints. Right? There's like two sets of footprints and then the person's like, why did you abandon me? And he's like, I didn't. When there's only one set of footprints, that's where I carried you or something. <laughs> he is the Enkindlers! Okay, concerns regarding the Keepers. From Chorbin. Corbin? Chorbin? I don't know. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the Keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the Keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of the materials from Saren's flagship, Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans, and may have been made by something far older with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old text still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Well, thank you, but we already did know that. 
you changed my life. From Jert. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Liart Sani gave me your contact info. I was one of the cleaning crew on Dantius Towers. You helped me get out of there. According to, S to Sani, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse mercs trying to gun us down, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved. One was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life, woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. So if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts of that you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Sincerely, Jared. Hello, Thane. Shepard. Once again, this game just makes it so hard to choose who I want to romance because I want to love them all. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyad. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. I'm not gonna cry! What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. I follow. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. Tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. <sighs> to be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. You're his dad. Regardless of what he thinks about you. You'll still always be his dad, and it will still always be difficult for him.
and he may not be respected, but if he wants to understand you, that may be why he feels the need to. Thane, I don't have your contacts, and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea bonds. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. <sighs> Damn, I want one of these rooms. Shepard, how are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Okay, fair enough. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. So up to this point, I have all of the crew members that I can possibly have. I think if I recall from the selection screen, there's one more that I can get. Um, so I don't know who that is, when I'll get them, because I always assumed that was going to be Liara. Um, but I don't have their mission yet, so obviously I can't do anything for that yet. Um, so I think my next plan of action will be to do some of the loyalty missions, and hopefully that will also unlock Samara's loyalty mission. Um, but we have a lot of loyalty missions to do, and we obviously still have a ton of side missions. So I think next mission, next mission, <laughs> next video, I'll do some loyalty missions and I'll probably, I'm thinking at this point, alternate like a video with loyalty missions, a video with just activities kind of back and forth, back and forth so that I'm continuing to do the activities uh, because I don't want to let those fall to the wayside and forget about those. So I think that's my game plan at this point. Uh, Samara seems really cool. I'm definitely excited to take her out into the field. Um, another biotic one. So it's going to make it harder to choose because we have so many that are biotic heavy 
Um, so it's it's always hard to choose like which one <laughs> which one I want to take with me, uh, but I'm definitely excited to take Samara out and see how she does. I feel like Thane did a really good job. I didn't struggle at all when I had Thane and Grunt on my team. I don't know if that's because the mission was easier or if that was just kind of like a really good combo that I had going there, but uh, they seemed to do really well and I loved their banter or like the commentary that they had. I don't know if having other characters they would have said the same thing. I'm not sure. It's obviously possible that those lines would have been said no matter what, but it was it was really entertaining having those two and hearing what they had to say. Um, and it will definitely be interesting seeing Samara's takes on things when I bring her on missions eventually. So definitely excited to keep playing. Can't wait to get these loyalty missions to see what they're all about. Um, and we definitely have a lot of activities to keep up on as well. So I'm excited for just all of it. But this game is going to be going on for a really long time because there's just so much to do. But I'm having a ton of fun. I hope you are as well. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.